this is a minimum build this is not the maximum this isn't to get the best effectiveness this is to get the minimum effectiveness but i believe this will get me through i hope you guys enjoy nice and comfy <sighs> what's going on all sit here so mutations are coming i believe they're coming if you're watching this video they're probably already out but they may be coming next week i don't fucking know anyway mutations are coming and they're making the game harder which means tanks may actually have a point in the game now so i'm going to show you some things that i think you're going to need for mutation i don't care if you disagree with me this is what i'm going to be doing and i'm going to show you first off this is going to be my build why this well because i like the weekend on shield rush it does a lot of work and i think it's going to be necessary i switched a few things around for my tanking build because this is going to be specifically for pve not pvp not pvx pve by the way if you're watching this video it's meant to be pve this gives me the best defense i don't know much of what to explain here you want to max out defiant stance because that's your oh shit button it's going to heal you uh you're maxing out your stamina damage mitigation plus fortify you're getting your taunts defensive formation some people don't like it i like it and i think there's going to be times that you're going to clump together because if they don't do that that's stupid over here i don't see any reason you wouldn't go with these three why because you get two empowers one for a heavy attack one for blocking and since you're already getting fortify from blocking why would you not take the empower from blocking and then freeing justice this allows you to get rid of the debuff we're gonna go over gear but the debuff you need to get debuffs off you they're not good they are not good no one likes debuffs i'm going to go for a specific weapon Ooh. that precision is because i'm going for a specific weapon a sword oh my god you didn't do the reverse stab build you're not going for cooldown reduction oh my god you're not playing something that is just boring as shit i'm not using the reverse stab build you interested in it here can you change some things yes i i don't know what you want to change i mean you could take out anything you want but one of the reasons i hate it is you're wasting one two three four points just to get the cooldown reduction for defiant stance over here you miss out on so much. Like, why? This is a build that you can go with. I don't know how useful it's going to be. I don't like it. I like I like the weekend. Now that we're at hammer, because hammer is going to be your best option. But they can do other things too. Yes, you can. But this is how I do it. This is what I would originally go with. I've been testing out a new build, but this is what I would go with. I get everything I need, plus I get some PvP potential. Uh, Aftershock paired with the exhaustive attacks. Great for PvP. Makes it so I don't need charge from a great axe. I hit the path of destiny. I'm going to get up to you to get at least another hit or two. Great. Well, here's the problem. This is for PvE. This isn't for PvX. So I'm willing to sacrifice some things. And sadly, I'm going to have to get rid of clear out. Which, I loved it because, one, it pairs well with prevailing spirit. Heals you for 35% of the damage. If you hit a multiple targets, that's a lot of healing. And it, on top of that, it grants you and everyone else around you fortify. I don't like giving it up. But what I may be working with is this. Armor Breaker gives you uh, a 20% rend. And I don't need the point in exhaustive attacks. And I'm willing to give up clear out and aftershock. I went with this because... I really hate that the bug where you switch weapons doesn't work. And so sometimes I may screw up and it says I have my sword and shield. Well, I didn't screw up. The game screwed up. I have out my sword and shield, but in reality, it's showing I have my hammer. So when I'm blocking, I want some extra mitigation on the hammer just in case. And where else am I going to put it? Light attacks, which I'm not going to do anyway because it's going to be ridiculously <laughs> it's useless. All this stuff uh, beefs up my heavy attacks. Why would I be using light attacks? This is what I think people are going to be using most often for the rend. Now, how do you make this build better? I'm going to show you. I have a little infographic made. Hello! Chosen's tank loadout. What am I doing? Because I'm not a min-maxer. Honestly, if I can find the minimum amount of effort to get through, I'm going to do it. Now, I'm going to release another video when mutations are out to let you know if level 10 is so damn hard that you need to maximize it. But this is what I'm going for minimum. I'm going to start out right to left. Why right? Because I think this is the most important. Jewelry! Black metal stud. I had this recently drop in Lazarus. It's pretty cool. It gives you everything you need as a tank and including threat. Oh my god, who's going to need threat? You get enough from all of your gems. No, you don't. 
No, you don't. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're just wrong. I'm not going to debate you on it because I've done it enough already. Refreshing is good, again, because we talked about cooldown reduction. But I'm not that big of a fan. I don't think it's that necessary. So I miss the regenerating perk. Regenerating stacks. This, this says 0.25, but it scales up to like 0.48, maybe even higher every second on top of your well fed and if you have your sword and shield out that's on top of the perk that gives you 10 percent extra increased increased incoming healing at least i think it does that helps that makes you a lot tankier i really miss it um there are some other jewelry you can go with but that's that oh by the way you're wondering why i'm showing you name drops it's because no one wants to spend the time asmo and r and jesus all day every day to get the perfect roll come on that's for when you have free time this is for what you can grind this is easier this is manageable for people so get off my back void bent ah! oh my god you got resilient that's not gonna do you any good in pve bruh invigorated still works hella good you're gonna do with so many debuffs i don't see why void bent's gonna be a problem the only thing i have to say is just pay attention your armor rating for elemental is a lot higher than your physical, which you get more health based on physical. You are losing out a little bit here, but it's not that much. And if you want to help with the physical damage mitigation, just throw some onyxes in there. Why did I like the sword? Curiosity Greed. Curiosity Greed with precision and everything like that. You're just stacking another fortify and you got hated on top of it. This I, this is a good sword. This is a drop in Lazarus. Just, just go for this sword. Get, get your expertise up and go for the sword. I mean, you won't need anything else in PvE. This will do what you need. I don't see any reason anything else. Next, shield. So when I was looking through this, there's like no good shields. You just have to craft one. So I found one that is a drop in the game, but it's more to just show you what to go for if you get one crafted. You want sturdy. This is like the essential. If I said anything, you need sturdy on your shield. Look at this. Stamina damage while blocking is reduced by a percentage. After that, I have Refreshing Ward. Actually, this looks a lot like my shield. I have Refreshing Ward as well. This is adds to your cooldown reduction, and this also gets people off my back. You don't have cooldown reduction. Bruh, I got Refreshing Ward. I don't really know what to go with. You can always try to find something here. If you can get, again, you're going for threat, you're going for damage mitigation. Things like Slash Shield Ward would be good or... You know, honestly, you may have different shields depending on what you're going against. If you could get this on every shield and then be like Slash Shield Ward and then Strike Shield Ward, Arcane, I don't fucking know. Just everything like that. That's what you're going to need for shield. Warhammer. For Warhammer, honestly, I didn't find any that I liked drop for tanks. Like, you could get a 30 strength one with crit and crit chance and crit damn. And blah, 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 blah. <sighs> There's Sundering Shot. You, they're going to tell you to rend. Yes, you can rend, and you should rend as, as a tank. But I think people are working too much on the rend. As you saw, I already had the 20% rend. Here's how you can make it better. Trenchant rend. Fully charged heavy attacks apply a rend for 7 seconds, reducing the target's absorption by up to 15%. On top of the 20% from Arbor Armor Breaker, that's 35%. Depending on however they do the math formula, I have no idea. But I will say I tested this out. They do stack. I don't know up to a point but they stack. I highly, highly recommend Trenchant Recovery and Trenchant Rend, depending if you need more utility and healing or you would need to do more damage to bosses. Those are the two that I would recommend for your Warhammer. Now, that's just a pretty quick rundown of a, my tanking build going into mutations because now I'm maxed out on expertise and I'm going to get maxed out 600 kind of quickly. I have orbs saved up to do that and I have gypsum casts. I think I have like 25 gypsum casts. I hope you learned something. I hope you have builds ready and in mind and you ask me a question if you like this video again remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you later peace out everyone